Hi everyone, this is Shannon from theirishscrapper.com and today I have a super fun card for you guys um, that we're going to create. Uh, this is the first time I've made a turkey. Isn't he cute? So I wanted to show you guys how to create this. Um, I thought it was very fun. Um, you know, I have so much to be thankful for every year. You know, my health, my family, um, so many things. You know, my job, this job. Um, there's lots of things to be thankful and grateful for. So I thought it would be fun to create a card. I do send some out um, at Thanksgiving. So this one will be going out later today. Um, so yeah, so let's show you how I got started. You can see this is um, uses multiple colors. So we're going to use pumpkin pie, rich raspberry, crumb cake, uh, Cajun craze, and delightful Dijon. And this is a little bit of Daffodil Delight, so I could have probably used the Dijon there too. Um, but okay, let's get started. Uh, I do have some of our pieces already ready. So our card base is 8.5 by 5.5 scored at 4 and a quarter. This is the standard A2 size. Our next layer is the Rich Razzleberry. So that is, what did I just say? Let me just double check myself because I hate telling you guys wrong. Um, that's four by five and a quarter. And then this is three and three quarters by five. And this is the crumb cake. So I think first we will go ahead and emboss this. And I am using the Woodlands embossing folder. That is this one here. So let me pull in our Big Shot. We are going to use the Big Shot um, to cut all of our pieces. So let me grab that. Let me just make sure you guys can see. Let me move that up a little bit. Okay. All right. So I have my regular platform in there. I have my very loved cutting pad. And then I'm going to put my crumb cake in the folder. And I'm just going to line it up so that I'm getting, you know, the trees on both sides. And then we will lay that down and put our other cutting pad on there and roll it through. Probably have to hold that. Okay. All right, so there is our piece. Love that. All right, now I'm gonna switch platforms. Okay, now I have my magnetic plate platform. And again, my one of my cutting plates. And then I have some scraps here that we're going to use. So um, for the back of the turkey, we're going to do the Delightful Dijon, Pumpkin Pie, Rich Razzleberry, and Cajun Craze. So let's start with the Cajun Craze. feel so naked today I don't have my my nails done and they're a wreck but as you know it's very busy getting ready for a holiday so I just figured I'd go without today all right let's see here we have a piece of whoa piece of rich razzleberry Oh my gosh, and I don't even think I told you what framelits I'm using. Okay, so let me step back a moment. I'm so excited about the turkey. Okay, so I am using the Flower Fair framelits, and I am using the leaf um, from this set, as well as um, this flower that has little edges. And then I am pulling a small leaf from our swirly scribble um, set. So look at look at the framelits that you have and see what you can do. Um, you know that's that's really how I came up with this project was just taking a look uh, at the things that I had and figured, okay, I want to make a turkey. How am I going to make this happen? Um, so you'll be surprised. 
what you come up with. Okay, we have a piece of delightful Dijon. This is my plate is okay. Let's try it down here. Okay, there's one more. We got one more. Okay, here's our pumpkin pie. Beautiful colors. These are beautiful fall colors. Okay. Alright, so we have the pieces for the back of our turkey. Um, for the center of the turkey, I will cut his face with this framelit since we have this out. And I think I have another scrap here that will work. Yeah, that will work fine. Let me come from this side. Oops, there. Okay, do I need a big shot anymore? Nope, I don't think so. Alright, so let me pull that aside. Make sure I got my framelits together. Okay, so now we have our back. Oh, I didn't do my little my little gobbler. Okay, let me grab that and do that real quick. Um, I am just going to cut this on the Cajun craze. I'm going to cut two of them. Okay, now we're done with the big shot. Okay, and then I am using my circle punch, my one and a half inch circle, and I am going to take a piece of chocolate chip. That's what I cut the head out of and I'm going to cut his body out of as well. Okay, so this is kind of how we're going to layer him up. These will go in the back. We're going to make that his face. These are his little gobblers. That's probably not even what they're called. <laughs> Um, all right, so let's make uh, his eyes. So for his eyes, I am just using um, two of our ha uh, handheld punches here. Um, just what I have handy. I don't know, my kids are always in them, so I'm going to just use these that I have here. I think I'll do it this way so I can see. Okay, let's see, and I'm going to pour those out. Okay, that looks good. And then I have a very tiny um, punch, and I'm going to do that in black, our basic black. This one I can't see as well. I think I went off. Okay, let me pour those out. All right. I'm sure you guys can barely see those. They're so tiny. All right, so we can begin now to layer up our card. So let me do my best not to lose any of those pieces. So first we'll adhere our rich razzleberry to our pumpkin pie. Just like this. All right. And then we will take our embossed piece of crumb cake. I'm going to use my fast fuse on that. I love my fast fuse. The best adhesive I think that we have. Just takes a little bit of time to get used to. All right. Okay, so we will layer that now. Make sure we have an even border. Okay, now we'll begin to work on our turkey. So, I think what I'll do, and what I did with my first one, is I basically used glue dots 
I figured that was the easiest for me to kind of get these where I want them. You could probably even staple them all together. That would probably work well too. Uh, okay, so let me find where did I put my glue dots here. There. So there it is. So you can see that's going to hold that. Now I'll go ahead and put some adhesive, some fast fuse on this as well. And this will make it hold to that embossed uh, front. And you can still, you know, because of the glue dots, you have a little bit more room um, to mess with it if you'd like to. Okay, so let's do our eyes. I'm going to do my best here. Um, where did I put? Here it is. Probably going to need this to help me pick them up. Okay, so I'm going to use our fine tip glue and I'm just going to put a little dot on my white circle. See, it's already sticking to me. Um, and let me show you how I did the little yellow nose. I basically just took a scrap of the Daffodil Delight. You could use whatever color you want. And I'm just going to cut it into a triangle. So I'm not using any kind of punch. I'm just making my own. And it'll look fine. It's okay to do that. See? And that's going to be his nose. And then we are going to use a dimensional to pop him up. So first I'm going to put the eyes on. So again, I'm going to use the fine tip glue to make my little face. Nose is a little, a little off, but that's okay. It's a little bigger, I think, wider than my original. All right, okay, so let's get a dimensional for that. And we will put that right on him. And we're just about ready. So for his little gobbler, I'm gonna use a glue dot for those as well. And I'm just going to put one of them in here, and I'm going to lift that glue dot up, and then that will help me um, get those two together. And then we can stick those right behind on the front there, see? Okay, and then we can put down our, aw, oh, I pulled his nose off. Okay, I think I'll just use the glue dot on that too, since it doesn't want to stay for me today. Of course, my first one that I did off camera is much easier, right? We know how that goes. Okay, all right, and then I'm going to use our, I think this is called the duet banner, and we are going to punch the banners out of the delightful Dijon. So I'm going to bring in a piece here. I'm just going to punch... Well, I'm using this one, so I think I'll just punch it on the edge there. And we'll get that little extra piece that I don't need. Okay, so we're going to set that just across the front of him. So for a sentiment, I, again, was looking at what I had, and I decided to use um, this sentiment from Paisley's and Posies, and I'm just going to use the word thankful. So I'm going to show you... On my block, you can see I kind of have it um, angled. So I just, you know, tugged on the photopolymer stamp and bent it a little bit to my liking. And then I'm going to put that directly on here. I am going to ink up the line that you see. So I'm going to open my Cajun Craze. I'll do my best here to show you this. I'm just going to hold this on the edge of the ink pad. Okay, and I can tell that I have a little tiny bit on those letters. So I'm taking a wipe. And I could totally use my stamp and write marker here. That would work perfectly uh, as well. But of course, sometimes you just do the harder things, right? Okay, so now we are going to just stamp that right in the center of our banner. Yeah, 
That did not come out as well as my first one. Okay, let's flip it over and see what happens. Gonna work out just fine. Okay, I will touch that up with my marker. Um, so let me grab two more dimensionals. Dimensionals everywhere. Okay. So I'm going to put two of those on the back of here. All right. And there we are. There is our turkey. Let's fold this. Let's give ourselves a nice crease. Just like that. Wonderful. I love it. I love it. I hope you guys love it too. And of course, I hope you guys have a wonderful um, holiday with uh, your family. My family is very excited to have a little bit of break and spend some time together. Um, so also let me remind you guys, we have a lot of cool things going on right now. So I am still having the November Stamp Club, and that goes till November 26th. So for any $35 order in my online store, I will send you a free um, card uh, kit. So it's just the consumables, not the stamp set um, that I created the cards with, but I will send you all the materials to do those. If you want to see more details about that, visit my blog post uh, from November 1st. Um, you will find it there. Uh, also, we are having a few sales. So our online extravaganza, stay the 21st, um, and it is an amazing sale. So this sale goes from November 21st to the 28th. There is a couple um, days where we have flash sales. So there's certain products that are available for 24 hours. Um, so don't miss that. You'll definitely want to visit my blog often or my Facebook page, of course, is very easy for most people. Um, and I will have the link to those in the description of the video as well as on my blog. Um, and then don't forget we are still having the 25% off certain stamp sets. So be sure to see the list and the picture of those on my blog as well. And if you guys do have any questions, please let me know. As always, um, thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it. I'm thankful and grateful for all of you as well. Um, and enjoy. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.